Maybe you're a DSP programmer who's looking for a different way to explore building new audio techniques quickly. Or maybe you're a Max user who wants to make audio plugins for other programs. Either way, GenCode Export opens up new workflows for generating and reusing code in audio applications. When Gen was introduced, it opened up new ways to explore signal processing in Max. Gen offers highly efficient C++ code generated in real time, all within the familiar visual patching environment of Max. And, as of Max 7, Gen is included with all Max licenses. Although the basic use of Gen is to generate and compile code in real time for use in Max, there are many other ways to use the code that is generated. We've explored other Gen code export options before, but in this example, we've improved the export workflow and provided an easy to use project which utilizes the popular and powerful cross platform framework Juice. Check out the GitHub Gen code export project and get started. We've included example projects for VST, AU, and iOS. All you need to do is plug in a gen patcher, export the code, and run with it. The README file includes a comprehensive list of repository files, prerequisites for building, and step-by-step -step instructions. We'll also make a longer tutorial video you can follow along with that walks through each step in detail. You can use any gen patcher you want, be it one of the many built-in examples or one of your own creations. The example patcher included in the project has a whole host of options for export and customization. Once you've exported the code, you can use the results in any DAW that has VST or AU plugin support, like Ableton Live, Logic Pro, or Pro Tools. Now, it's up to you to hack in Gen and then tweak the results. You can add your own UI or incorporate the code into a larger project. Maybe this is your chance to finally jump into some C++ coding projects or explore the many other possibilities with Max and Gen. We're really excited to see how you use this, so keep us posted on what you create in the comments below, and get involved by forking and contributing to this open source project hosted on GitHub.